So I am going to show you a little DIY, like I'm not going to actually do it yourself, uh, show you, like do it to show you, but I'm going to show you the end result of what I have done. And this isn't a new concept. I'm pretty sure I'm adding into uh, like somewhat of a pool of this idea of of what you can do. So it's just taking a picture frame. It doesn't have to be this big. I have done it with eight and a half by 11 frames and smaller, but the, I glued paper, uh, cardstock, yeah, onto the, this backing. So if I didn't, you would just, I would just see the cardboard behind it. So I took cardstock, glued it. Uh, I used a glue stick, but Mod Podge might be a little better onto this, well, the other side of the back. And I took pictures. So in this case, calendar pictures. I have about four or five more of these where I have two, three different patterns on the back and a picture from calendars. I got, this one is from Dollar Tree, a Dollar Tree calendar. And I have, there's a few about five or six behind this one. So I could change like this one to one of the ones behind it. And with the other ones that I have, one of the other ones that I have is for a Boyd Bear calendar. And those pictures filled up the entire frame. I actually had to cut a little bit off of them to put it into the frame. So there are calendars out there that would be big enough to fully be inserted in, in this one. The reason why I did, I added the cardstock to this one was because I didn't want to cut the, these anymore. So I just put it into these ones. But you can also use eight and a half by 11 frames, which I have done and put the image, an image, like I've put a Llewellyn pages from their coloring book into it. I have, actually I have one on my wall as I, as I enter my room. It's a little, it's not shadow box, but like the frame comes out a little. I had that I have that one because I am putting I had put not only an image but the cardboard that is holding the artwork together into the frame. That's why I needed a little um, thicker one so I could put it in. So you can frame pieces of artwork, calendar, images. Like you cannot if this isn't a new concept, you can frame your posters, which I have done with many of mine. I just need to find a right size for Brian Adams because I don't want to have him being held by thumbtacks anymore. But it's just finding the right size because uh, that one is a little... This one isn't traditional size. I might have to go into Michael's and... Uh, rake out a little bit of money for proper sizing because again I don't want it to be creased or cut or, what, or whatever because this one was hard to find as it was <laughs> my I think me and my parents just stumbled upon this on this in a store that I I think is out of has been out of business for quite a few years now uh, from the mall we found it at but yeah, so it's just to 
to do this, you just take out the back. If you're going to do this, glue on, whether you're using a glue stick or Mod Podge cardstock to the back, put it in or find, or if you want to find an appropriate frame so you don't have to do this, find it. This is a 11 by 14 frame. So it's, I easily found this and other eight and a half by 11 frames at doll, at either Dollar Tree or Dollarama. This one was from Dollarama. So, and this one is sturdy. You got sturdy backs and you got two ways to do it, to put it up. Right now, I don't have this up. I just got to be able to put up the hooks and stuff to put it up. But yeah, so a different, not a totally different or new idea, but so I'm showing you one thing, one frame at least that I have done in this little, it's a nice way to add little art, like artwork to, to your space if you don't want to like this this entire thing cost me less than five less than five five dollars to do uh yeah because this came in the calendar this these came in a pack and i think the most expensive was the frame it was two or three dollars but yeah five six dollars all together and yeah, happy readings.